Hello, my name is Kaim San Munoye, and in this video we are going to discuss the generations or the evolution of telecommunications network. So basically we are going to go through the generations, the first generation, the second generation, the third generation and the fourth generation. The fourth generation of 1G phones, that is the analog systems, the old, the, the, the plain old telephone system we know as, as shown there. So defining factor there is it is analog, provides basic mobility, focused on voice and then incompatible with other platforms. So you have this 1G phones possibly uh, on a particular uh, platform or model it's not likely going to interoperate with another model. So this is the first generation. We are moving on now to the second generation, and that is introduction to digital systems. So we have second generation mobile devices or mobile network supports digital. Transmission is digital, then introduction to GSM, global system for mobile communication. They will have use of digital modulation, TDMA, and CDMA, in case you want the meaning of the acronym, time division multiple access, code division multiple access. These are technical jargons, and that is not what we are going to explain now. Then we also have advanced mobility uh, a coverage area here, uh, more extended than the first uh, generation. You will have presence of data, support for for text uh, SMS services and a uh, little data uh, services there. They also have roaming, roaming that is being able to use a mobile device in a different country, a different location. They will have support for video. Support for video, no, no support for video. So for second generation phones or second generation networks, we have no support for video or multimedia. So we move to the next one, the third generation, and that is where the word smartphone starts coming into place. Smart meaning that they're able to support a wide range of services, not just the, the, the basic uh, telephone calls. So we also have multimedia, video, uh, images, etc. Support for open standards, interoperability here. And then we also have a wide range of services here. We talk about email services and uh, other services. IP, but I would rather reserve this for the fourth generation. High data rates. We can talk of a data rates of over five megabits per second. Then we have this based on WCDMA and if we do, then these phones are called smartphones. So moving on now to the fourth generation. Yes, here is implemented an IP. They have IP base version six, which uh, uh, the successor of uh, IP version four. Then we have high data rates, better multimedia quality. We talk of high definition, high resolution, streaming, lower relative costs. So with much services added, one expect the cost to be exponential, but uh, fortunately it doesn't work that way. So we have relative cost is actually lower. Then it's also continuously improved. New features are added, user-friendly features. Of course, if you have used a Samsung device, uh, let's say the uh, Samsung Galaxy, uh, Galaxy Tab 4, you understand you, the user-friendly features here I mean. So we have high data rates of over 200, uh, let's say over 20 megabits per second. So let's do a little review. The fourth generation, we have the analog. Second generation, introduction to digital. Third generation, multimedia, and that is when we start getting the word smartphone. And then we have the fourth generation, IP-based, and we can also call them intelligent phones. So I hope this video has been informative for you. I would like to thank you for viewing, but please don't forget to like my video. Maybe you can share it with a few of, of your friends and then maybe you subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more explanations in other videos. See you next time.